What light through yonder window breaks? Tis the Stratford beginner's novices chase here in Shakespeare country and the top one is Brer Rabbit, Martin Leadham. Fine Fettle, David Robertson, Hot Port, Paul Rhodes, Tommy Gunn, Kevin Meenahan, Uncle Bun, Joby One, Wrestling Mark, Jamie Hopkins, Montoya, James Follis, Aero Love, Molly at Surfer, Cattail, Carl Arrogante, Celestial Lights, Ghost Zapper, Cutter Dash, Daniel French, Eight to the Ground, Joshua Sutherland, Fuller's Bray, Jim Murray, James Gray, Derek Hinton, Mayor Days, Darren Thompson, Pulling Your Leg, Graham Clutterbuck, State of Control, Leon Van Rensburg, Triple Play, Thunderspark and War Stu Gray. So, here we will sweep then, and now we're hiding behind a tree, and away we go for the first of two races here at Stratford, and they get down to the first, and over that we've lost one already. Wrestling Mark has gone. So, Wrestling Mark, two falls, two submissions are a knockout. Well, he's been knocked out at the first. So, Uncle Bunge is the leader then, Hot Port second with Celestial Lights in third, and then comes Cattail, with Fine Fettle after that one, Hero Love's got the inside rail, as they come down towards the second, and this time they're all safely over to the other side, and race away from us there with Uncle Bunge in the yellow colours, now the leader from Hot Port, and Celestial Lights, and Cattail on the outside, Fine Fettle is the first of the greys, then comes Hero Love, pulling your leg is next, wide on the track is Montoya, we crowd, there's a little wave as we go by, and it's the winning post pass for the first time, and they've got to come round another twice yet, and it's Uncle Bunge who's got the lead. From Hot Port in second, Celestial Lights is third, then Cattail is fourth, Fine Fettle and Aero Love, then pulling your leg, and Montoy with Fuller's Bray, also wide, and I think someone else has gone yet, one of the greys has gone there, Triple Play, so Triple Play is out of the race now as well, so Uncle Bunge continues to lead, with Hot Port second, Celestial Lights third, and then Cattail and Fine Fettle, as they come down towards fence number four, and the leader took a bit of a risk with that one, lunged at it, and something else got two down there, State of Control's gone, and so too is full as Bray, as they come to the next ditch, So and another one's down, Molliet Surface Horse, Aero Love's gone now, so some of the big guns are out of this already, that's Molliet Surface, Aero Love out, State of Control looks to me as though it might be um, Leon Van Rensburg and Fuller's Bray is Jim Murray, so one or two of the big guns out of this then, and Uncle Bunge is the leader, from Celestial Lights in second, Cattail is third, Hot Port is fourth, then Pulling Your Legs in fifth, then Fine Fettle the Grey, Warren's on the outside of that one, and then James Gray and Montoya, Mayor Days is next, then Tommy Gunn and Cutter Dash with Br'er Rabbit on that one's inside and then just the back marker surrounded by loose horses is eight to the ground as they take the next and they're all over that one okay and they've still got just under two miles to race and we've already lost five then so the jumping has been somewhat novice hasn't it and Uncle Bunge leads into this ditch but well, he's out jumped on the outside by Celestial Lights who's now gone on by about half a length, Cattail's moving up nicely on the outside, little gap of a length or two, then to Hot Port with Montoya still running wide on the track, little gap behind, then to James Graham pulling your leg as they take the next, uh, only two better jumps that time, and Uncle Bunge, by three parts of a length then, as they swing back towards home for the second time, and they will have to go around again yet, and Uncle Bunge, takes them down towards the next with Cattail in second and then Celestial Lights is third Hot Port, James Gray, Montoya and Mare Days, Tommy Gunn and Eight to the Ground has moved up a little bit Fine Fettles after that one the back four there now are Warren Brown Rabbit pulling your leg and cut a dash the grey who's closest to us. So they passed the winning post then and uh, they've got one more circuit of this Stratford track to go and friends, international trainers, countrymen, I hope you've had a good start to the season. This is sort of getting to the midway point of day two in the national hunt so hopefully quite a few of you have got some winners and places now as they take the next and over that one Cattail has just about jumped into the lead from Uncle Bunge, who's now reasserted on the inside. And more, more to do, I think, with the fact that he's got the inside rail than anything else. It's Hot Port in third, Fine Fettle the Greys moving up nicely in fourth. Then comes Celestial Lights and Eight to the Ground has been creeping closer. James Gray and Warren after that one, and then Tommy Gunn as they take the next. And all the remaining horses are over that one, okay. With Cutter Dash and Mare Day, it's just the back two as they take this next ditch. 
And they're all over that one with Uncle Bunge still the leader, but fine fettle looks to be going particularly well on his outside. Hot port and cattail between the two. Celestial Lights has now had to switch wide. Little gap then to James Gray and H to the ground as they're already swinging around this bottom turn now with just six furlongs to go and they'll be swinging into the straight before too long and Fine Fettle has now put its white head in front so it's Fine Fettle but Uncle Bunge is fighting back then comes Cattail and Celestial Lights Hot Port these are the leading five the chasing pack are headed by James Gray and H to the ground as they come down towards the next then and this is the 13th and we're just three more after this one and over that one Fine Fettle's now gone a couple of lengths clear from Celestial Lights and Cattail Uncle Bunge and Hot Port and H to the ground then pulling your leg and James Gray. After that one, we've got Tommy Gunn, Warren, and Brer Rabbit, but they're probably out of it as they come to the third last. Over the third last they go, and now Celestial Lights gets back into the lead, and Uncle Bunge comes back for another go. Fine Fettle's not giving up either. Eight to the ground's got the inside. Coming around the outside is James Gray. Cattail is still there as well, but Fine Fettle leads to the second last fence. Fine Fettle, Celestial Lights, eight to the ground. Fine Fettle jumps it best and gets away from it best. Celestial Lights is chasing. Eight to the ground is third. Uncle Bunge trying to stick on him fourth. Then comes Cattail, but it's Fine Fettle and Celestial Lights. Race into the final two furlongs. They've only got one more fence to take and the grey fine fettle is under pressure. Celestial Lights looks to be going better on the outside. Hates the ground between the two switches as they take the final fences. Celestial Lights who gets away from it well. Hates the ground is now the challenger. Fine fettle's beaten. Uncle Bunge is back and forth. Racing inside the final furlong. Celestial Lights on hates the ground. Hates the ground coming with a big run on the outside. Celestial Lights needs the line. Celestial Lights hates the ground. Hates the ground beginning to get up on the outside. Hates the ground. Hates the ground. Celestial Lights issues another head bobber and up towards line. Hates the ground. He's just a searching at the line, hates the ground, takes his left to just taking a good bunch, pulling your leg after that one, and Brer Rabbit was probably last, and another thrilling finish to a long distance race, we've had some great races so far today, and eight to the ground, got up and took it on the line from Celestial Lights, mere days came from absolutely nowhere to be third, and Looks like Graham Clutterbuck's horse was fourth. And let's take a look at the full list there. Eight to the ground. Joshua Sutherland, another win for him. Celestial Lights for Ghost Zappa was second. Mere Days for Darren Thompson, another good run in third. Pulling your leg for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth. And Uncle Bunge for Obi-Wan stuck on well to be fifth.